Good evening, Royal Community, YouTube, uh, every, anybody else out there who's watching. Hi, I hope, uh, hope you're all doing really well. Um, it's Rob back for another video. Um, yeah, this is a, a quick response to uh, a thread that uh, Rob Walker put together um, fairly recently, um, which is to show uh, your records which show uh, or have uh, depict people smoking on the cover. Um, obviously, the big, big taboo these days. Um, but I'm not going to moralise. I smoked for twenty years um, plus, <laughs> um, as did a lot of people. Uh, as a lot of people still smoke, uh, although obviously it's kind of frowned upon. I guess uh, certainly you're a bit of a social leper these days uh, in terms of um, uh, you know smoking in public places and so on certainly here in the in the UK anyway so uh, but um, yeah so um, a couple of people already have jumped on this shown some some interesting uh, covers and uh, yeah I, I didn't think I had any at all because uh, none of the none of the covers that uh, uh, no, nothing came to mind sprung to mind immediately so I kind of rifled through the collection and managed to find uh, I think about a dozen something like that so uh, yeah I'm not I'm not going to make this video too long so I'll just whip through them a lot of them are classic uh, or pretty well known records anyway which I'm sure a lot of you have so uh, not really an awful lot to say about them but uh, I'll just uh, show a sleeve so the only caveat is that um, is that they are because uh, I can't remember what Rob's original remit was, um, but uh, they're not in the. If it's a gatefold album, it's nothing that's inside a gatefold. Because to be honest, I couldn't be bothered to go through, you know, all the records. I've spent about twenty minutes looking through my records, and that was enough basically. So if they're not in the front or the back cover, um, then they're not included, or I haven't found them. So, but uh, here we go. Okay, so kicking it off, a uh, classic from the Beatles, uh, Rubber Soul. So yeah, obviously no uh, no, uh, no cigarettes there. But if you go on the back, of course, there's old Macca uh, with his ciggy mouth there. Uh, so yeah, okay. So that's uh, Rubber Soul from 1965. Okay, uh, going forwards to 1978, and this is Blondie's wonderful second album, Plastic Letters. Okay, so you've got uh, uh, well, this is this is like a triple whammy on this one because you've got uh, Clem Burke uh, has clearly got a Siggy there, um, and then Jimmy Destry having a good. Uh, a good tug on the fag there, and also on the rear cover there. So, okay, um, moving on. Um, probably one of the most famous smokers in rock and roll, uh, Mr. David Bowie. So obviously you got the classic Scary Monsters 1980 album um, there. Uh, just uh, sort of off there. Uh, he's got the Siggy and then obviously again shows in the, the silhouette there. Yes, definitely one of his favorite pastimes. Okay, and then again, sticking with Bowie, uh, the Ziggy Stardust motion, motion picture soundtrack uh, from 19, came out in 1983. Um, 10 years after it was recorded. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, then 1973 again, um, and we've got Cockney Rebel, a wonderful debut album, Human Menagerie. And there's Steve Harley there. And it was a bit tricky to spot this one, but you can just about see his cigarette. In between his fingers there it's not that clear but uh, it's definitely a cigarette so there we go okay moving forwards to I think this is 1979 uh, this is uh, 
chic and risque. And then we have, uh, is that Nile Rogers, is it? Or I think that's Bernard's, is that Bernard's? Uh, uh, um, Bernard Edwards or Nile Rogers? I'm not, I can't remember exactly which one's which, but uh, definitely got a, a, a cigarette there. Looking very cool. Okay, sticking with cool and laid back. Uh, showing this one again. Um, showed this one the other day. This is Roy Harper and his wonderful 1970 album Flat, Baroque and Berserk. Laid back there on a bed with a tiger skin staring at him. Okay, excellent album, that one. Okay, uh, 1979 now. Um, Ricky Lee Jones's jazzy debut. Uh, the, I don't know, that's a cigar. One of those little mini cigars, I'm not altogether too sure. Wonderful album there from Ricky. With old Chucky's in Love. Big single off that. Uh, wonderful album now, back to the mid 60s, collaboration between Bert Jansch and John Remborn. This is Bert and John. You got old Bert Jansch there, and there's John Remborn. Just about to light up by the looks of things, and I think they're, I think they're playing Go, is it there? I'm not sure, altogether too sure, but uh, deep in a game of. Uh, of something or other, I think it's go. I'm not too, not too certain of that, but uh, fabulous record. Um, yeah, wonderful guitar playing. Okay, um, this one is a. I don't know whether this is a bit of a cheat, but we have a cartoon smoker here. This is the Kinks. Uh, everybody's in showbiz. Everybody's a star. 1972. Um, I'm not exactly too sure who that's supposed to be. Um, so obviously we've got Eddie Cochran up there, the looks of things. Uh, obviously Laurel and Hardy, there's kind of all sorts on this cover. Uh, Marilyn down the side there, uh, all in cartoon form. Yeah, pretty good double album there from Kinks. Uh, not one of the greatest Van Morrison albums in the world, uh, but it's got a picture of him smoking on it. So this is a uh, period of transition. Uh, so this is his uh, three-year gap hiatus album after taking a break from Veed and Fleece. Um, there's Van, all these different images. A bit like the kind of Hard Day's Night cover. Uh, and there's that one there in the corner. Having a smoke. So that's Van Morrison and Period of Transition. A couple more. Okay, uh, 1975, Sparks. My favourite Sparks album, this is Indiscreet. So obviously no Siggy on the front cover there, but if you go on the back sleeve, uh, this guy here, I'm not sure what his name is, he's part of the, the band. Obviously there's uh, Russell and Ron there. Uh, I'm not too sure what this guy's name is, um, but he's having a, definitely a good old pull on a cigar there. Okay, and to finish off, uh, wonderful... Uh, psych kind of soul funk band from the early 70s American band Rotary Connection with mini wonderful Minnie Ripperton on vocals and uh, the guy here in the middle with a big cloud of smoke above his head and a cigarette there which you can just about see it it is actually slightly out of focus I think so uh 
I'm not blagging you. <laughs> okay, so that's it, guys. Just a really quick one. Um, so, yeah, uh, interesting thread there. Not a bit of fun. Um, got me thumbing through my record collection again. So, yeah, thanks to Rob for putting that one together. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. And, uh, well, hey, it's the weekend again. And um, hopefully another two or three months uh, uh, when this lockdown is finally all uh, done and dusted here in the UK and a majority of us have had jabs, uh, we can get back to some kind of normality. And won't that be great? Okay, cheers, guys. Have a good one. All the best. Bye-bye.